Yes, and now you can see probably my screen. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm talking on behalf of the uh, Danube Sediment Project, uh, which was recently finalized um, in the frame of uh, the EU Interreg uh, program. Uh, I'm from the Technica University of Budapest, and we were the leading partner of this uh, international project. Um, and this is this has not specifically focused on the on the Delta region, but on the whole river. In fact, but uh, it's a significant part of the system. Obviously, the the uh, issues regarding the uh, the Danube Delta uh, came up. So, um, just a couple of points about the project. Uh, you know why it was necessary to uh, start to deal with the sediment transport issues in the Danube River. Um, basically, the uh, problems or the issues are very similar to the ones we have seen in the previous uh, presentations. So strong human pressures influencing the whole river system. Uh, there is an um, obvious uh, result of the interruption of the sediment transport caused by, you know, transverse structures, the conventional river reg regulation activities took place in the uh, last hundred years, let's say. Uh, commercial dredging activities, uh, building of hydropower plants, and so on. And uh, all these uh, uh, activities influence the, uh, not only the flow in the river, but uh, the sediment transport as well, and eventually the, the morphodynamic, morphodynamics of the river, uh, meaning that um, these measures reduce the, the width of the river, increase the river bed slope, you know, uh, increasing the sediment transport capacity, in the free flowing sections of the, of the river. And it yields to, to the erosion and uh, bed incision in the free flowing sections of the Danube River. And at the end of the day, reaching the Danube Delta with, the, um, with this erosion influences, uh, there is a, a deficit of, uh, of sediment in the delta region as well. And we have a surplus of sediments in the impounded sections, meaning in the uh, upstream part of the hydropower plants and in the, uh, in the flat plains, meaning that uh, uh, there is a strong, strongly disturbed uh, dynamics of the, of the sediment transport and it influences the, uh, the uh, ecology uh, along the river, the, the habitat types, and uh, you know the uh, aquatic communities. Also, it influences the navigational possibilities, the uh, groundwater level, for instance. Uh, here in Hungary, we are uh, using uh, for drinking water the uh, uh, the groundwater. So there are several impacts which are uh, strongly affecting the the economy and the society. All along, and you know the the uh, significant difference compared to the problems we saw in the previous presentation is that we have a really international uh, river basin here. Um, the river is flowing through uh, eight countries, and uh, because of this, uh, we involved uh, fourteen project partners from all along the Danubian countries, uh, also associated strategic par strategic partners, and. Um, not only researchers, but uh, uh, stakeholders as well. So like uh, uh, um, water agencies, uh, national parks, hydropower plant operators, and uh, institutes like this. So this was a really huge project and um, we just finalized it like half a year ago. And the main, uh, two main outcomes uh, can be seen here. The uh, so-called sediment manual for stakeholders where we were like giving concrete recommendations uh, related to sediment transport issues for the most relevant stakeholders. And also we uh, prepared the so-called Danube Sediment Management Guidance, which uh, uh, reviews the uh, problems related to uh, the sediment uh, transported in the river. And one of the most important results, you know, from the legislation or from political point of view was that um, based on the uh, main outcomes of the Danube Sediment Project, now the, the sediment issue is uh, like a sub item of, uh, of one of the significant water management issues, uh, the hydromorphological alterations 
in the river basin management plan. So in this way, we could uh, implement the, the further recommendations in, uh, in uh, this uh, uh, um, legislative way. So uh, just some concrete results from the uh, project. Uh, we revealed all the uh, sediment data from the past, uh, which was available all along the Danube uh, from the different countries. Uh, then we uh, analyzed those uh, data. We tried to identify the problems related to sediment transport. As I said, like surpl surplus and deficit in the sediment transport. And then we uh, tried to give recommendations how to overcome uh, the sediment related problem. So this is one typical result where you can see the, how the uh, suspended sediment transport is changing uh, all along the, uh, the Danube River. Uh, this is the historic situation, like uh, before building the hydropower plants and before the active uh, uh, human um, or anthropogenic impact uh, took place. And this is the actual situation. And here the, the sizes of the arrows show the uh, amount of the sediment uh, from the source to the estuary, to the Black Sea uh, along the Danube. And as you can clearly see here, uh, the amount of the sediment reaching the, uh, the delta region decreased significantly. So here you can see a couple of numbers. Uh, it actually decreased more than 60% from the, uh, let's call it historic uh, situation. So there is a really uh, strong impact of, uh, of all these uh, uh, anthropogenic uh, influences on the river system. So this was one a key finding that uh, there is a more than 60% uh, decrease in the suspended sediment transport. And we also identified all along the uh, Danube River, uh, the uh, morphological changes. And uh, we indicated the different reaches where uh, erosion is taking place and sedimentation is taking place. And uh, in most of the cases, it could be well introduced that uh, in case of impoundments in the upstream part of the hydropower plants, uh, we do have uh, sedimentation processes uh, taking place. And um, on the uh, downstream part of the hydropower plants and on the free flowing sections of the river, we are facing with erosional uh, processes. Um, and this is why uh, we gave- uh, You mean which? Okay, we gave uh, recommendations for these different types of uh, river sections facing with erosion or uh, uh, sedimentation influences. And for instance, in case of the Delta region, uh, we underlined the uh, uh, necessity for increasing the sediment input into the Delta region because we are facing a strong erosion. Uh, in fact, it's like a couple of meters per year, but it's also heterogeneous in case of the Danube, like uh, in the other uh, rivers, but the order of magnitude is uh, like this. Um, and we prepared uh, like fact sheets of uh, uh, different good practices and examples from uh, the Danube River Basin and from other river basins as well, collecting those examples and giving concrete suggestions uh, where and how to implement uh, those, uh, those measures, you know, from local scale to reach scale and uh, to river basin scale. And these results are all included in those two uh, main reports, uh, which I mentioned. Um, we have uh, very illustrative videos on the project website, uh, which you can reach uh, here on that link. And um, yeah, I'm just, um, drawing your attention to these uh, documents. And if you have any questions regarding this, then I'm ready to answer them.